so what happens in this is that the anode gets positively charged and the anode is basically copper and these impurities so when it get pos gets positively charged the copper dissolves into the solution and with it the impurities also get dissolved i mean not dissolved they go into the solution so because this is positively charged copper will lose its electron to get positively charged which is co2 plus all right and what happens is that co2 plus goes into the solution which is already co2 plus i mean copper sulfate in ionic form will be co2 plus and so4 2 minus so what happens is that the impurities x y z which are soluble in the solution will get dissolved in the solution and the impurities which are not soluble in the solution will settle down and this impurity which is not soluble is known as the anode mud so the solution uh, the impurities which are soluble will go into the solution then they are harmless and the so, uh, impurities which are not soluble will just settle down and this uh, impurities which are not soluble are called the anode mud they often ask you a question what is anode mud so anode mud are the impurities which are not soluble in the solution so this copper will get dissolved in the solution and it will become copper 2 plus now this copper 2 plus is what kind of an ion positively charged so positively charged ions are what cations if you remember and cations will move towards the cathode so what happens is that this cu2 plus ions which are obtained from here let me draw it a bit more clear the cu2 plus ions which are obtained from here start moving towards this and they get deposited over here and the deposition reaction is obviously co2 plus plus two electrons two electrons which are obtained from the cathode it will give you cu and this cu is pure because the impurities are either dissolved in the solution or they are settled down as anode mud so what remains is just the pure metal which get, get gets deposited on this cathode and the cathode is already a thin strip of the pure metal so the pure metal gets more and more deposited and the anode just uh, corrodes away not corrodes away it is taken into the solution the basically this gets deposited on this so we obtain pure copper from the from the impure copper so this is the method of electrolytic refining and they'll ask you where these reactions take place write the reactions so just write that over here electrons are getting released so there should be a positive charge so this is the anode and here electrons are getting taken so cathode has to supply them so this reaction will take place at the cathode okay
so this is all about electrolytic refining so it is a very intelligent method of refining the uh, impure metal we now come to our next topic and that is corrosion uh, we all have heard this word corrosion corrosion everywhere but what is the actual meaning of corrosion corrosion is basically the eating i mean if a metal is eaten away by some external force like uh, water at uh, moisture air or any chemicals so that process is known as corrosion i mean it can be called as the degradation of a metal by the attack of external physical um forces like air moisture chemicals etc now we all have seen corrosion in some form of the other and the most common form of corrosion is the rusting of iron you must have seen that an iron uh, maybe any iron uh, uh object after kept being kept for a long time in outside in the air exposed to air and moisture they will get a brown flaky coating which is called rust and there are other forms of corrosion also like if you have seen silver if it is kept i mean after a long time when it is exposed to atmosphere it develops a black coating and this is because of sulfur present in the air and the black coating is of silver sulfide and this is basically because of the sulfur dioxide and all present present in the air and copper after being exposed to air will get a green coating this is basically due to carbon dioxide and the substance which is the green coating is copper carbonate so when these chemicals are i mean when these kind of articles of silver and copper are corroded they the pure metal is eaten away and these kind of salts are formed so this is a, a lot of damage to these metals so that is why we need to prevent corrosion 